Hey everybody, welcome back. So today I'm going to show you how to draw Enrico Pucci from Jojo's Bizarre Adventure, Stone Ocean. So, yeah, let's get right in. So it's a portrait, as usual. Wide page for to fit his shoulders. I suggest a pencil. Definitely sketch it out lightly first in case you make any mistakes so you can rub them out. And uh, yeah, so just a little bit above halfway for his eyes. And we're going to start right here with those big Jojo eyelids. So we go diagonal up, like so. And then we bring it across like this. And then down the other side. So you can thicken this up now. Just make it a bit of a thicker line. And add some eyelashes sort of coming off the tops and sides here. Like so. So then his bottom eyelid, it's going to come out and down. Round like so, like this, and you can thicken this up as well. And we might have some smaller eyelash lines sticking off the bottom. Well, they're not really small, it's JoJo characters, they're big eyelashes. So, and then his iris just inside. I think he just has black eyes, I think. So we just do a circular type shape just in here. Yeah, I think his eyes are just black. Yeah, we'll, we'll leave them black anyway. And uh, we'll just put an old shine just here, a highlight and do the rest black. Like so. Right, we'll come over and do the other eye. So our eyes are in pretty much in proportion. So we're an eye distance across and that's where we're gonna start his next eyelid, about here. Yeah, eye distance across and then we're gonna bring it up Again, same sort of way, and then go over, and then down, like so. And then you can thicken up this eyelid line. And maybe add some eyelashes onto it. So, and then his bottom eyelid comes down underneath. Into here. And you can thicken this line up as well. And add some pointy eyelashes coming off the bottom. Like that. And his iris, so just a semicircle. Like so, and then a highlight just over here. You're just leaving a white section. I'm doing it in a triangle because that's the way it is in the picture I'm drawing from, but you could just as easily do a circle, you know, if you hate triangles. <laughs> Man, I hate triangles. <laughs> oh, don't mind me. So we can add, let's see, some lines just inside his nose here, just like that. And then maybe something similar on this side. It's kind of some hatching lines. His eyebrows are kind of attached to this overall webbing of his face and stuff. So I'm not, I won't do that yet. We'll just leave his eyes like this for the minute. 
and we'll go down and just do his nose. So we've aligned just here, the side of his nose, like that. Maybe a line on the other side as well with some hatching that kind of goes down the side like this. You know, in that JoJo sort of style, just there across his nose. That kind of shows the bridge of his nose. And then his nostril is just defined by a line down like so. And then a diagonal line over this way. So his top lip then, real big sort of Jojo lips as usual. So we're gonna curve this up in the center and it'll come down this side like so. It always reminds me of a bow and arrow. That's what, without the arrow, just the handle of the bow part, obviously, like so. Middle line is pretty much the same as that one. So it comes in down, back up here, back up to there. Might be some lines just on that. And then a big bottom lip, just down underneath here. have a shadow, some hatching lines coming along the bottom of it. And then his chin, just down here. So his nose is halfway between his eyes and his chin, just here. That's like the same distance that and his bottom lip is halfway between his nose and his chin. So there are the proportions you go for. So his head is kind of slightly turned, so we've more jaw on this side. So we'll go up this side first. So we'll go diagonal up here. And then his jaw, we'll go up side of his face to there. So real angle jaw on this side. And then it's more sort of curvy on this side. So it's gonna come up like so. Curving up like that. So now we, st we can start doing sort of those bits of silver that are on his face. So. So we see a sideburn sort of here, okay? And then there's some sideburn on this side as well. So it kind of comes up into there. So this one joins the bottom of his eyebrow. So it comes down into here at first. Like so. So then there's no gaps between these lines. So we'll join it all up together. So the eyebrow then comes across this way. There's a gap here because there's another section that comes up this way. And then there's another section here. And then the rest of the eyebrow comes down across like so. can't see it in the picture but I'm gonna add an eyelid line just here because I think he needs one ba -ba. right so then this comes up to a V kind of in the middle and then it comes back down towards the eyebrow on this side and it's a double V Like 
like so. And then with the eyebrow line here, so it comes down, across to there, comes back, touches that one. And then we bring it back this way. And then we have a gap, comes back to there. You can see the end of the eyebrow on this side and the line for the side of his head there. So these now come up to his hairline, which is like a star that's just up here. We point in the middle here, and we bring it across, and then these join together down here. And this comes down to the side of his hair down here, like so. Pretty much similar on this side, so we go up, back down, join it together, go up the other side. Seems to be an extra line here. I don't know if he forgot to do it on this side, but let's see. Yeah, one there, and then this comes up like so, back into there. And then there's like some shadows and stuff, hatching lines all in here for like his brow. A little bit here. Shadow just like here, the side of his face, and then he has just a line just here coming up for his edge of his brow, just here as well. And then he's got some of those silver things on his face as well. So, coming down this way. Back like so, and then some of these go up towards his eye this way, Back down like that, going up into there, Back down, down to here, off his face. You could like darken up maybe this line just to give it a shadow or something. Make it look like it's kind of raised up off his skin. Some of these lines, you just need to thicken them up. Just some extra line weight, that's all. But it gives the illusion of shadow. Because drawing is an illusion. And then there's some on this side as well. So, different though, comes in this way, down like so, and down to there, and then in this side, up like so, add a shadow maybe here, here. Right, so we can add his ears, so sticking out here, sorry, it's in line with his eyebrow actually, and we should do his, the edge of his sideburn just there as well. That was a mistake. So his sideburn comes up to his head. <coughs> yeah, I'll do his head first. So this is going to curve around. So the top of his head is like right up here. That's all. That's the top of his head. So he's got pretty much a shaved head, or it looks like it's shaved anyway. Silver like the stuff on his face, so maybe it's more of that silver stuff. Sideburn there. And then we've got some lines on his hair, or like bald patches or shaved in patches. 
just these lines that curve around like so. Another one here. And then the last one, just here. You can shade them in. Like so. Maybe some hatching lines. On this side. Maybe some down here. And then his ears. So it's in line with the eyebrows. So it comes out here. Comes back down. Like so. Sticks out a bit. Down into here. So they're quite big ears. They're kind of strange actually. Strange shape to them. It's just the style that Iraqi likes to draw. Ears. Ain't gonna hate. So it's like sticks out like so, comes back down this way and into there. And then bones and ligaments and stuff. Like so. Something like that. Right, so so I think he's got a sort of a priest collar on. Looks like a priest collar anyway. So, ba -ba. out coming out from his jaw, just down this way, just down to there. Out from his jaw on this side, just down to here. And then we'll bring it down, down and around, so. Go out and around, boom. And there might be like an extra line on this side. It comes in here, like so. <clears throat> and then that white part of his collar just here. So we have, we might see some of the top of the collar comes in underneath his chin. And then maybe a little bit on this side. And then the white part is just here. Down like so, and curves around. Like so. This might come into here. Maybe here as well. Okay, so his shoulders so pretty high up we start. So we're gonna come just a couple of bumps for folds for his clothing. And then we're gonna bring it off this way, real wide shoulders, because he's a Jojo character, so they're real muscly guys. And then a shoulder pad comes off this way, comes down like so, and goes off this way be some folds down here and then the inside of the shoulder comes down this way might be another fold line just here of course there's like loads of shadows and all this in the manga I might draw them in if if you let's I'll, I'll see I'll see <laughs> I'm trying to decide <laughs> depends on how long the video goes so another line comes down this way and then bring it down all the way to here. This shoulder kind of sticks out a bit more. So it goes off this way and then down like so. So he's kind of leaning, he's kind of leaning that way. Classic Jojo poses, you know? And then we have more sort of four lines that go down off the page here. Some of these have some pretty big shadows in them. But you can do as much of this as you like, really. You could just color, you know, his, his, his purple in the image I'm drawing from. So you could just do like darker purples and stuff. Like 
so and then we have like a seam so a line that runs along the top here when we get up here we've got some bumps and folds and things like so and then some like fold lines coming around the color of his shirt the color of his uniform Something similar over this side. And he's got like a cross on the front here. So it just goes down like so, both sides. And there's like a fold that goes up this way. So this comes out like so, goes around, back up, back into here, down like so, back out that way, and then this curves around. So, goes up and around this way, back out that way, and it's kind of a double line inside. So, and then there's like a line coming down the middle. And of course, there's a lot of shadow on this guy. But um, oh, and he's got some stuff coming out the back here as well. I think these are part of his costume, I'm not sure. Like, they look like the ends of a scarf or some sort of piece of fabric anyway, like so. I'll have a bit of time, I, I'm just, I'll, I'll do the shadows, so can't help myself. Just drawing them in. So this is all shadow. Uh, this is shadow all in here. So real dramatic, kind of sinister looking guy. So he's in stark contrast and stark shadow on most areas. So shadow all in here, shadow here, here, up into here. This is shadow. The shadow. We'll just X marks the spot for where you put your shadows. There's like hatching just all here. Uh, 
shadow. Okay. So shadow here. Hatching coming along here as well. All right, so I'll just color them all in black. Okay, so that is most of the shadows on them anyway, but I'll leave it there. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Uh, oh, and I don't know if I mentioned this, this was a Patreon request by Godly Fan Club, one of my patron supporters, so I am more likely to see requests and stuff on Patreon and there's even an option that you get a priority request so once a month you get a to give me a request and I'll get right on it so consider if you can checking out my Patreon if there's something you really need me to do quick and uh, yeah as always thanks for watching you rock keep drawing I'll see you in the next video Bye.